So hopefully you enjoyed this review. I know it was quick. Don't forget to check out the video where I compare all the statues in this line in my quote-unquote completed set. So there you go. I kind of use the back of the box here to uh, guide how I pose uh, these statues. Really, in essence, you can move them anywhere just because this base is magnetic, right? You got that creative freedom. But I just thought, really, start with this for now. What up, YouTube? This is Nate from BFG Reviews doing my follow-up video, the final video I anticipate for this series of uh, Marvel Now Avengers uh, statue line by Kotobukiya Artifacts Plus. My goal initially was to collect just the, uh, the these main four characters from the Avengers line. There were two that I'm missing that I considered optional that I don't really plan on getting. In essence, for me, uh, my personal collecting goals, these are the four that I wanted, and now that I have them all together, really, really happy that it did start to, to collect these figures, really from watching people like Shardimus Prime and... Uh, what else did I watch? Shardimus Prime, I think, was the first one that came up with this. I can't think of any other channels right now, but he was the first to kind of catch my eye with the review of these statues, and I went out and got them. I just thought it'd be really cool to kind of put them together for you guys to check out. I can give you my thoughts as, like, a whole, and which ones I think are better, which ones I think are worse, how I think they could improve them. If you didn't get a chance, I review each of these statues separately on BFG Review, so don't forget to check back to those videos. Really had to pull out the wide angle to get all of them in. Uh, in terms of scale, I'll start with scale first for no reason, but just the first thing that popped into my head. I think the scale of all these action figures matches up pretty good. Uh, Captain America really is the shortest one, but I mean everyone else is a god or in freaking armor or a Hulk. Obviously they look like they belong to the same uh, line. So really good continuity there. If you checked out my other videos, you would have known that probably the one that I'm least happy with, because I maintain that all the glowing spots on him really look like acne zits. Come on. Really? They actually do have a red variant of this one, and I remember telling myself, I'm not going to go for the red one, I'm going to go for the black one. But in hindsight, I think I should have went for the red one. So just a tip to you guys, if you're going to uh, start collecting this line, I would recommend getting the red one over the black one, and the red one's the most traditional one anyways. Now, my second least favorite one out of all these... Uh, it's it's somewhat of a tie. I initially thought Captain America here would be the one that I was least happy with, but really, it's uh, might maybe a surprise to some people. It's Hulk. Not that he's a bad statue at all. It's just you know the other two quality-wise are so good. This one's main glaring uh, weakness, in my opinion, is the paint application. Like the sculpt work is great. It really does look uh, spot on there for the Hulk. You know, the, all the muscle, the thickness looks really cool. They added veins in the leg and everything, the tattering of the shorts. And you can see the shading, and the shorts aren't too bad. It's the muscle shading that really bothers me. I think they go too too dark. There's too drastic a difference uh, in skin tone variation. Really, they should have been more gentle, I think, and I think that would have been better. Uh, but, yeah, Hulk is my second least favorite in this one. Not that he's bad. It's just that glaring issue, really, that got to me. So in essence, that really only leaves two statues left here. Uh, which one is my favorite and second favorite? I'm pretty sure some of you can guess, but my second favorite one out of this lot really is Captain America. I think he is actually really good. He's the surprising dark horse in this group. I thought I was going to like him the least, but turns out I like him second best. You know, he has really... Really nice detail work on him. I like the variation in the shine here. Uh, the finish is more shiny on his helmet and on his shield. You know, it, it's a nice variation from the more matte finish here in his chest and in his pants. I think they do a really good job in the detail work on the sculpt. You know, they add all the little wrinkles in his pants and everything. Again, the paint uh, here, compared to like if you look at the Hulk where I thought it was too drastic, Really, in the pants, they do just a hint of shading in all the shaded areas. And I thought, you know, less is more in this case. He has a really cool accessory, which is his shield there. They put a lot of detail work in the back, which you can't really even see if you're posing him this way. But again, he has a lot more intricate detail in the other two, than the Hulk. Maybe Iron Man has a lot more detail too, but, you know, he has his little belt there, little buckles and all his gloves and everything. The only problem I had with this statue was that it's just a very standard basic pose where... You know, the other three here have very dynamic and action poses. Captain America standing around like, oh man, 
I'm the one with the least power here. But I get it. It's his character to be very stoic and just a standing symbol of everything we believe in as Americans, even though I'm a Canadian. But the best statue in this entire group, according to BFG reviews, is Thor. Thor was the first one that I bought. And at the end of all things, he is my favorite statue. He has the most detail work done to him. And I still think they did the best job uh, overall. Like, the sculpt work is really nice. He put all the detail in his... I don't know what these circle things are. If you know what those are, comment them below. Appears that it holds his cape on the upper portion, but down here I don't know what it holds. You know, my only gripe about this one really was Mjolnir. I thought they could have put a little bit more a design element into this. Like, maybe just even with the paint, give it more of a me metal weathered look. I thought it looked very plain and simple. But overall, he has the most dynamic look. He has his hair blowing in the wind. He has this beautiful advantage of a cape that is just, you know, for people who design action figure or for people who design comic books and who like to draw, the cape is a really nice way of adding a dynamic look. And obviously, they didn't leave it flat. They left it flowing the same direction as his hair. And you can see the variations in the cape tone a lot better than they did on uh, the Hulk there designed statue compared to the other four but that doesn't mean that they're all bad I just prefer the Thor <laughs> so there you have it Thor is my favorite statue out of the four in this set well technically I guess you could say my least favorite statues in this set are Hawkeye and Black Widow because they're not here and I didn't buy them really what I did the main reason I didn't buy those two was watching reviews they look the least exciting to me and in my own collecting goals, I don't want to collect things that I don't want. You know, this isn't my video game collection. I'm trying to aim to be more selective, right? So those two I might buy if I had extra money, but I'm not buying now. So there you have it. Uh, the first ever completed series for BFG reviews. I know it's not really complete. Someone's going to comment that, I'm sure. But still, overall, the first completed series on BFG reviews. I'm very happy with this this line. I think Code of Bukia is killing it. Uh, really sucks in Canada or Canadian dollars so low, so it feels like all the prices of all their items are going up. Like the Shoju statues that used to be maybe $75 are going up to like $89.99 Canadian because the weak Canadian dollar just costs so much more to get them shipped up here. But still, uh, not to take away from Kotobukiya, I think they've been doing the most innovative things with all the licenses that they have uh, in their camp. Killing it on the quality, on the design killing it on the packaging, you know, just overall big fanboy of Kotobukiya. So keep an eye out for that when you go to your comic book store. Thank you guys very much for watching. Comment below. Don't forget to rate this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Share it with the ones you love. <laughs> I didn't give myself a clever name this video. See, I really wish these two were like facing each other instead of facing the same way. That way I could pose them like in a pose off that doesn't look too stupid. Well, I guess that doesn't look too bad, actually. One of my favorite superhero, like, mashups versus battles was Thor and Hulk. Which one is stronger, the genetically gamified Hulk or the Thor uh, Odin's son with his godlike powers and Mjolnir? Really one of the coolest mashups in Marvel Comics. Iron Man's back here saying, Stop, we're all friends!